dear friends uh, namaste and welcome back on the concluding video on mixed proportion let us uh, recapitulate what we have done in previous video we have explained step 1 which is entering basic data and step 2 targeted calculation of targeted mean strength step 3 selection of water cement ratio step 3 2 and step 3 selection of water content and now we are uh, we have to complete step 4 that is calculation of cement cement content can be calculated based on the water cement ratio the relevant equation is given because you already know the water you can uh, and you already know the water cement ratio based on that you can very easily find out cement content now this cement content has to be compared with uh, minimum cement content suggested in is 456 from the table 5 you can uh, find uh, for different exposure conditions the quantity of minimum cement both for plain concrete and reinforced concrete so let us see this for different exposure conditions for plain concrete this is the minimum cement for kg per meter cube minimum cement for rcc kg per meter cube we have implemented this logic suppose if we change this to moderate uh, value the water content value will change sorry minimum cement will change for an example in our case it is severe severe it is 320 let's say severe severe it is 320 so or uh, that has to be compared with uh, the minimum cement has to be compared with the cement that is calculated so the cement that is calculated from water cement ratio is 350 this value should be greater than or at least equal to the minimum so that comparison is done in this particular cell so we have got final uh, value of uh, cement content is 350 kg now proportioning of mix is uh, from the table 3 of uh, proportioning code so proportion of coarse aggregate and fine uh, coarse aggregate you can get based upon the aggregate size as well as uh, zone you can select the zone from the combo select uh, drop down list selection and the relevant logic is here for 10 mm aggregates for different zones i have given the values similarly for 20 mm aggregates different zones similarly for 40 mm aggregates different zones let me quickly show you that table table 3 this is that particular table for different aggregates for different zones so we are uh, uh, extracting the value of uh, uh, proportion course proportion but this particular course proportion is for water cement ratio of 0.5 if your water cement ratio is less than that that value Uh, there is a, a recommendation so there is a correction for the proportion suppose if your water cement ratio at the rate of uh, the, if your water cement ratio is plus or minus 0.05 change then you should make a correction of plus or minus 0.01 so in our case um, the water cement ratio calculated was 0.4 so the difference is 0.5 minus 0.4 that is sorry 
zero point five minus zero point four, and uh, this value divided by uh, change of zero point zero five. That is two times two times of zero point zero two zero point. 0 0.01 which is 0 0.02 so you should add 0 0.02 and, uh, and also for a pumpable concrete the value should be reduced by 10 percent that means for a pumpable concrete 0 point this particular value multiplied by 0 0.9 the same logic is implemented and also from this you can compute the fine aggregate that is one minus force value so exactly you can see one this particular value is obtained from the if statement this a little bit uh, intricate you can um, easily write it provided if you start and open parenthesis at the same time uh, water cement ratio for increment. So two times you are multiplying with two into 0 0.1, the same value. Is it pumpable? Yes or no? If it is yes, no. And if it is yes, you are multiplying with 0 0.9. And finally, one minus of course will give you the uh, final fine aggregate. Now, the last but one step. Just look at this step. For every volume of concrete one meter cube, you are calculating different constituents like cement, coarse aggregate, and fine aggregate. Volume of cement is mass of cement by specific gravity into one by thousand. Specific gravity is 3.15. You already uh, entered that value. So volume of water, similarly specific gravity of water is one. You have calculated and volume of uh, chemical admixture that is super plus either at the rate of 2% of mass of cementitious material. That is mass of cementitious material is uh, 350 kg. So let us find out the, uh, the volume. Volume is uh, that is 2% of uh, 357, that is the mass of admixture, divided by specific gravity of admixture into 1000, you get volume of admixture and volume of uh, all aggregate. So that is A. What is A? A is 1, 1 minus A plus B plus C A is 1 minus volume of cement you have to subtract volume of water minus volume of admixture so you will get the uh, volume of aggregates so having known the volume you can find out the mass of aggregate because we know that uh, the specific gravity for both fine and the coarse aggregates are 2.74 just uh, multiply this volume 0 0.743 into proportion of uh, courses 0 0.56 multiplied by 2.74 into 1000. Similarly, the fine aggregate. Likewise, you, you can get it. The same logic is implemented over here. You can see the relevant formula. You can very easily understand. We are done with that. Every time we are rounding with 0 because uh, we are not interested in the decimal part. So, so same values are copied over here and displayed. So that's all we are done with uh, concrete mix proportioning. You can also uh, increase the scope of this Excel sheet by considering uh, different scenarios and uh, different classes of uh, uh, mixed proportioning code can be implemented and you can bring uh, refinements, improvements over this Excel sheet. Thank you very much.
for watching my videos.